Hi, today I'm going to be making a beef soup. I have a little more than a pound of stew beef and I cut it into more bite-sized pieces that are better suited for soup than stew. I used about a quarter cup of flour, salt and pepper, and I actually put a little cayenne in with it and I sprinkled that all over the, the meat. I have one onion and three cloves of garlic. Uh, mushrooms. Uh, I have a potato back here that I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it yet or not, but it's there in case I want to. I'm gonna have some dried sherry in it. And I did a beef stock, well, beef broth, uh, a, bean, a beef bone broth I made last night. And that's what I'm gonna use. So right now all I'm gonna do is I put a couple tablespoons of olive oil in my pan here. I'm gonna get that rolling. Um, about a medium high heat and I'm going to brown the meat and uh, and then I'm going to take the meat out of the pan and set it aside while I do the the onions the garlic and the mushrooms so uh, I'll show you what that looks like after okay so I just took the rest of the meat out of the uh, the pan here the pot and I'm going to deglaze the pan with some dry cooking sherry uh, maybe about a half a cup and I'm going to pull the the flavor bits from the bottom of the pan up and uh, and then I'm going to put my mushrooms my onions and my garlic in here and get those all done and uh, and then I'll be back again you know I was telling you that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the potato but you know I'm going to put the potato in with the garlic the onion and the mushrooms and the sherry and I said cooking sherry. It's not cooking sherry. It's just a dry sherry that I purchased at the liquor store. Because they always say cooking sherry doesn't taste as good. I'm not sure. So anyway, like I said, pulling up the bits. Going to get this all done. Once this is, uh, once I get this cooked, I'm going to put the meat back in. I'm going to put the broth back in. Or back in. I'm going to put the broth in. And then I'm going to let the whole thing simmer for... Um, probably be about 45 minutes. Be back. Okay, I just put the meat in. Uh, and now I'm going to add my stock, my chicken broth that I made last night. And when I made this, I added seven cups of water to the bone broth, or the, the bones that I was making the broth with. So that should be about seven cups. It might be six cups because a lot of times it does cook away a bit. You can see all the residual stuff from the from the broth I made. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna let this go for, um, I'm, you know what, I'm gonna bring this to a boil. I'm on a medium high heat right now. I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna back it down and let it simmer. It, it might go an hour. Oh, and you know what else I wanna put in here? Time leaves. <laughs> I love time. I know I say that all the time because I do. I love time. So I'm going to put some of that in. Um, you know what else? I think I'm going to sprinkle a little bit because, wow, I only have a little bit of garlic powder. I mean, I have another one, but this is the end of this one. So a little garlic powder, a little thyme. Um, bring this to a boil. Back it down, let it simmer at a slow, steady simmer, a slow, steady simmer, and uh, probably about an hour. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I just realized that when I was adding the broth to this, I said chicken broth, and it's a beef bone broth that I made last night. It's beef broth, not chicken broth. I'm thinking you could probably use a chicken broth if you don't have beef, but this is a beef broth. Okay, you guys, this is done. I'm gonna put a little bit the bowl to try it you know I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe doing some uh some noodles on the side I don't I don't like to do noodles in with the soup because it drinks up all the broth but uh potatoes the beef and see because I put a little bit of flour on the meat gave it a little more like oomph, a little bit more texture. Mm. You know what? That's really good. So there. Thanks for watching.